Okay, welcome to my PC. And what you see is a complete revamp of the Biblical uh, Cubit Conversion Calculator. As you can see, the interface has a totally different colour. It's sort of like, I don't know how to describe this colour, but I know it's got green in it and things like that looks like sort of <laughs> the murky ponds I guess you could describe the color but anyway I like the way that I like the way the color is on here so um, so so there we are anyway um, this is a revamp of the last video that I did on the uh, uh, Biblical Cubit Conversion Calculator and what I thought I would do is just go through this calculator and give you a bit of a uh, uh, rundown on it uh, which in, in a sense is also a sort of uh, like a tutorial. Now up here is we um, as is the is two um, radio buttons there which is which converts um, feet to cubits this one converts feet to cub cubits and if you click over here it switches over to where you can convert meters to cubits and cubits to meters and etc um, just see if I fixed it yes I did there um, so what you do then is uh, the basic thing is that you always do is you type in the information the, the the measurement first right so again it's a one two three and then what you do not do is you do not put any characters after the feet you just leave it at at the numbers, at the numerals. You don't enter feet or inches or beaters or anything like that in it. So, uh, or, um, you know, things like a, um, what do they call it? Best way I could describe it is as a, a single quotation mark, like that. Well, hang on, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just put a space there in there just to show you what I mean. A single quotation mark like uh, that, oh, there we go, you can see it now. Like a single quotation mark there that um, for that indicates feet, all right? So uh, just clear that out. So. So you don't put down something uh, like that for feet or even write FT up abbreviated for feet because the moment you do something like that and I'll just finish off it um, the moment you do something like that and you were to press the enter button or I'll use the enter button so into input string was not a correct format so is uh, was not a, a correct format so you just leave it at numerals okay then you um, put in to what you want to con uh, co uh, convert it from there and so you just go convert there and it tells you that 123 feet equals 82 cubits. You can reverse convert it. So if you uh, go uh, 82 and you select cubits, it'll can now convert it back to feet again, as you can see there. The same sort of trick works with um, uh, with uh, meters, 
and so forth like that. And I'll just oh cancel. There. So what we want to do is we'll go to 123, flick it over to meters to cubits, and so then we'll just say meters here and we just go convert and we see that 123 meters is 169.03 uh, go back to convert it back so you go um, was it 269.03 qubits and then we go convert and there we go and as you can see it's 123 meters and so forth like that so converts to and from and so on like that now um, once you've got that done if you want to I'll just put another entry in there so if you have something like a double entry like that you just go you just click on it and hit the delete button or click on the erase button and there and then it asks you are you sure you want to delete the selected item and you go yep you do and it, there it goes and it clears it off right um, to clear to um, to clear the data up here you just hit the uh, clear button and etc like that um, if you want to clear everything out and just reset the program you just hit the new and reset and it just clears everything off and returns uh, everything back to its default setting um, so that's what that button is for now what you will notice is that everything is well and truly tooltipped. It gives you a uh, tooltip, even the text boxes are uh, tooltip, and it also uh, tells, gives you a hint of not to to just type my, uh, numbers without characters, or else it'll cause you an error and etc. like that. This is um, to select a unit of measurement and so on, so forth like that. All the buttons, as you can see, are well and truly tool tipped and etc. One other thing too, as you will notice, is like up here, is that all the tool, uh, all all the buttons, radio buttons and other buttons and etc. are Uh, have a shortcut key, have a keystroke added to them so if you want to change over to that you can just like it says here uh, uh, to press alt M on your keyboard so you go you can't see what I'm doing so you go alt M and there it goes over there over here you can note you notice where it's underlined that's what your shortcut key is there for. If you want to return, just go um, Alt F and it goes back there. This one here, you just hit the Enter key there for the Erase key. It's click Delete, or you can go Alt R like that. Okay, and there's nothing there really selected to erase, and so forth like that. Uh, exit is Alt X or the Escape key. So if we click the Escape key, as you can see the dialog there, you just click OK to exit, and it exits. So basically, as you can see, that this program is quite comp is quite easy to run.
Uh, another thing too, we'll just uh, click it up on there, bring that it back up again. It has an excellent help file, so all you have to do is just click on the help file, and what comes up then is you see it's got um, it's got uh, the 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 uh, quite a compre comprehensive user guide. So um, so any. Um, so you shouldn't have any problems in being able to use this program. And I trust that you, you will um, uh, enjoy it and use it. And that uh, as a result of it, also you will be blessed by it. So on that note, what we'll do is we'll exit it. And then we'll go Alt-Z. And then record save, and then we'll click on that stop and save. And on that note, bye bye.